Hello and welcome back. Okay, so the first thing we must add here are screws because screws will mark the basis of everything that we do. So in order to do that, the first thing we must do is create a table for screws. So let's go to our PHP my admin and do that. Now, for some reason, okay, so I was going to say it's very slow, but uh, looks like it proved me wrong. So we have one table here. So let's add a second table, just like one we added here. So I'm just going to say, uh, create table and put a new name here. I'm just going to say schools like that and click go. So make sure you are on the school DB here. And of course, we're going to need an ID and we're also going to need a school name. So we're just going to put school there. And then we need a school underscore ID. Okay. So you may be wondering, why do we need an ID when we already have an ID there? Now, the thing is, using a primary key for identifying this queue is okay. Nothing wrong with that. It's actually faster. But uh, due to security issues that I found during my own uh, real world uh, use of this thing, I realized that I need a separate ID that isn't a number. So this ID will be a random string that we generate. So we're going to use variable character and the school here variable character as well. Here we're going to put this at 60 and this will be the school name. I don't think we need a very long string, maybe 30 uh, as the maximum. This one will be int, that's okay. Auto increment, make sure and primary key there. Okay, so none of these should be null. We should have a value for all of these. And then here we'll add a date as well. Okay, so this is pretty much what we need. Now, the reason we need an ID here to repeat is that this is going to be a random generated value. The problem with a number is that if you're entering values, um, let's say for some reason you're entering data in your, let's say, uh, exam tests or exam results, and then you make a slight mistake with your ID and you enter the school ID as maybe 27, instead of 25, then automatically that information will be accessed by a different school because it's just a number, a matter of numbers there, right? So a slight mistake results in somebody else viewing your data. So this can be a little bit dangerous, especially if the data is sensitive. So instead, we're going to use a random generated value so that if you do make a mistake and add a digit or a character that was not supposed to be there, it will not show this information to anyone else because no one will have that particular ID. Okay. It's just going to be another random ID that is just a mistake. And so that information will be hidden to everyone who is in that database. It's very different from where you make a mistake. Instead of putting 24, you end up putting 25 as the ID. Then a whole different school is going to be able to see that information that is not good so this is why we're going to have a random generated id here as a variable character okay so hopefully that clears that up and we're going to hit save okay so there we go we have a new table and we will be searching using the name so let's add an index to the school name and of course we need another index for the id Otherwise, searching these will be a nightmare. We'll also need one for the date because we may need to search for which school we created on what date. Okay, so very good so far. So good. Let's see what we can do on the other side. So back to the home. Now, if I want to click here, I see that the link is linked to classes. So let me deal with that in the nav bar. So back here to our views, 
I'm going to go to uh, the nav, which is inside the includes. And let me just make sure the links are correct. So this one should be schools. This one is users. This one should be students. And that's classes, that's tests. We are good to go. OK, so back here, we need to have to click on schools so that we are on the schools thingy. And I need to create some content here. Now I'm going to copy what I have on stuff because I like this div right here except for the content. I like the div and this uh, crumb here, which we're going to deal with a bit, a little bit later. So let me copy the content of that. Also, I'll need a controller. So quickly, I'm going to go to the homepage because this is the most basic controller. Uh, not really, maybe. Uh, it's okay, I'll copy all of this. Anyway, and then I'm going to go to new, right click on controllers, new file, paste this, save this as um, schools, capital S, school, let's see, students, schools, dot PHP, save. So, of course, I will change this to schools. Oh. Like so, and same thing here. Schools. Uh -huh. Okay, so schools. Now here we are going to need to create our own uh, model to read this data. So everything else remains the same, but this user model is going to change to schools. And same thing here. I will change that to. Schools. Ooh. Mm -hmm. You can put an S, it doesn't really matter, but uh, that's the one there. Maybe we'll put school like that because the table is schools. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that's uh, looking great. Alrighty then. So from this, it's going to read from the schools table, but we need to create the schools model. Otherwise, we'll have a problem here. So we're just going to copy from the user's model because it has plenty of the items that we want. So I'm just going to copy everything from the user model. Right click, new file, paste, save this and just go to school.php and hit save. Notice that I did not put an S. That way we get to speculate on the table. The table can be school. Let's change that user to school as well. So there we go, capital S, school. Mm -hmm. So as we programmed it, this is going to guess that we are going to look for our data in the schools table. So this is going to be fine. Now let's look at the allowed thing is to change here. Uh, Date should not be among this. We should have added a uh, thing like this for date, but uh, I think for now we can leave it. Let me add school here. And that's the only thing really we need to change. It's just a school name and the date like so. And then here uh, make school ID will be one of those. And we may need to know who created this school, right? So let's... Um, Let's add one more column here. And this one will be the user ID. So user URL, let's save it as user URL, variable character and length of 60 because that's what most of these are. Okay, great. Also, we may need to add an index here and save. So user URL, that's good. So back here, we need to, so the school ID, I changed both of these too. I should have left the other one. So user ID, school ID, and we don't need to hash any password. So out here, like so. And then we need to validate the data, just like we did on the other one as well. So here, I'm just going to copy everything for username and change that to school. 
who name so let me change that to school and this one as well here that's really the only thing we need to check for so I'm going to remove everything else like this and leave the if statement here because that's critical okay check for school name and make user uh, ID school ID that's okay and hash password we don't need this anymore but we do need the random string to remain there so like this mm -hmm. now what would be nice is because we keep repeating the random string uh, thingy here and we repeated it in the user thing there as well so we could add another uh, model here the same way we did with oath like this to make sure that we can reuse the same code over and over again so let me do this instead let me copy this uh, random string and cut it out and let me go to uh, let's go to the core and let's go to functions and I want to just add the function right here like this because the reason I'm doing this is if I had left it the way the way it is it would have meant in the user who have a different function doing exactly the same thing and in the school who have a different function doing exactly the same thing at the end of the day if we decide we want to change how we are adding our IDs then I'll have to go to every class and change it, which is not efficient. So instead, we're just going to remove the this on these guys, and that should work fine. So this random string, remove the this, make school ID, let's see here. Okay, so this will have to change a little bit, but on the user, let's remove the this as well on the random string like that. And then going back to the functions, let's remove the private because we are no longer in a class. So there we go. This should work as expected. And let me close that. Alrighty then. So yeah, in this class. Now in the ID here, we need to make an actual ID. So we're going to copy what we did exactly here. So copy that, get a random string to be the ID so if it's set we're not going to check any of this out out like so mm -hmm. and then right here I'm just going to add uh, this like so just one equal sign of course like that okay great so we are able to validate our data we're able to generate a user ID school ID and these are the allowed uh, yeah so i think we are ready to test this so let me go to schools right here new school find all mm -hmm. okay so so far this is all good it shouldn't cause an error if i try to load it except that uh, i don't have the schools view so let me go down to the views and click on the users copy everything in here create a new one in views paste save this as schools.view.php save right so we have the nav bar we have the crumbs we have this content here row row that's okay we just need to remove the actual content from here out like so okay everything else is all good back here and let's refresh okay there we go so for each argument must be of type array a boolean given in there so what it's complaining about is that it didn't find anything in the uh, in this result and this result is a a boolean instead of an array so we can go to the view and fix that how to fix that is to add an if statement Let's duplicate these two and move these two inside. And then let's change the for each to just an if statement. So just say if, 
and I'll change the very last one to if as well. So if rows, just like this, okay? That's good enough. Let me copy this. But back here, let's just confirm that it has worked. Remove the, uh, uh, yeah, there we go. So you can put an else statement here if you'd like and just say else foo colon and then we can echo out something else and just say something like uh, let's try the h4 and say uh, no screws were found at this time something like this so back here refresh no schools were found at this time. So you can decorate as needed. So this means we should do exactly the same thing on users because in case we don't find any users, we're going to have a similar error. So I'll put an if statement there, duplicate this and put an end if at the end like so. Okay, then I could move this inward just for clarity. Right, so, so far so good. We have everything we need. Let's go staff, we still have that. Scoos, we still have that. So now we need to actually add some scoos so that we can see some scoos here. So let's do that in the next video.